Hey everybody, what's going on? So I just wanted to kind of make a, a quick video here just because I heard a rumor the other day. I was actually yesterday, sorry, and it was basically talking about, you know, what, what's the future of the uh, these uh, some of these MPs in the uh, Liberal Party? And one person who came up uh, quite often, which is quite shocking to me to be uh, completely honest with you, is Christian Freeland. Now, for those of you who don't know who Christian Freeland is, she is tech, uh, currently right now the finance minister under the Liberal uh, cabinet. So essentially like the second rank to Justin Trudeau. Right? Now, she is, if you haven't heard of her before, just actually do yourself a favor and don't check her out because she's got the most annoying, squealy, squeaky voice you've ever heard. But she is very, very unpopular. And after the Toronto uh, St. Paul by-election last week, you could see the level of concern that she had because they thought they had that that riding in the bag. They didn't think they were going to win by a landslide like they have in the uh, past elections, but they thought they would still win, and they didn't. Well, guess whose riding is just south of Toronto St. Paul? It's Toronto University, which is Christian Freeland's riding. And if the Conservative just lost there to a relatively likable candidate considering... She's a liberal in um, Leslie Church. Considering how unpopular Christian Freeland has become, you got to wonder, is this safe, stronghold, liberal writing another writing that's up for grabs for the conservatives, considering how unpopular that Christian Freeland is? So there's a lot of panic, not only in the liberal party, as to how bad they're going to lose the next federal election, but how many other you know by-elections coming up in between then are they going to lose? And they're kind of spinning their heads, and they're like I said in a, in a past video, there's a lot of MPs now calling for Trudeau to step down. So Trudeau's response to this, at least the, the rumor is, that he wants to actually replace Christian Freeland uh, with a guy named Mark Carney. Now, uh, Mark Carney is a guy who a lot of people think is going to be the next leader of the Liberal Party after Trudeau does step down. And for those of you who don't know anything about him, just a quick overview. He used to be, I can't remember the exact title he had, but he's essentially like a, a big finance, big banker kind of guy. Right? It's just corruption written all over him. He's also, again, he was pro-lockdown. He was He's pro-carbon tax. He's essentially the same thing as Trudeau, just a fresh face, a fresh new face. That's, that's really all he is. And even then, even him, he's not that popular, but... He's probably more popular than Christian Freeland, who is just in a free fall in terms of her popularity. So Justin Trudeau may switch her out for Mark Carney and, you know, see what happens. Like I said before, you know, they have no chance of winning the next election. It, it is over. I mean, the conservatives are going to win and they're going to win a majority. It's all about damage control right now. It's about, hey, let's keep as many seats as possible and then regroup, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, regroup for 2028 or sorry, 2029, that's what they're thinking right now, right? Because there, there's no path to victory. You can't even keep a, a stronghold in Toronto, super liberal Toronto. Yeah, you'll keep some ridings there. You'll keep some ridings in Montreal, but where else are they going to win? <laughs> out West? They're done out West. Ontario, other than Toronto, doesn't really like them anymore either. Right, so they're, they're in big trouble, just in complete free-for-all. And Justin Trudeau is apparently thinking about some sort of damage control, getting Freeland out, putting Mark Carney in, and hopefully um, for him, their popularity kind of rise, uh, rises again, or the damage kind of just flattens out and we go into the next election just the way the numbers are right now, which I'm sure the Liberals would take. Maybe not Justin Trudeau himself, because he's got this ego. He wants to continue to be the leader, and he wants to battle Pierre Polyev, that's not going very well for him. And a debate versus Pierre Polyev certainly wouldn't go very well for him, right? So, you know, we'll see. And I actually think it's better for the Conservatives, to be honest, if Trudeau stays on as the leader because he's so unpopular now and his numbers are just declining, declining, declining. Pierre Polyev can keep hammering home the same point, right? Like nine years of Trudeau, look what he's done. Look at how awful this guy is. He wants to tax people into poverty. The middle class is disappearing. Look at the housing crisis, the immigration crisis. He can just hammer on Trudeau with that. Well, if they flip Trudeau out for Mark Carney, for example, now Pierre Polyev and his team kind of have to refocus their, uh, their efforts to going after Mark Carney. And they don't have the nine years of Mark Carney to go after, right? They can figure some other things out, like I said, Big finance, big banker, which means big corruption. 
pro carbon tax, pro lockdown. There's a lot of things to go after him for, but I do think that would give the Liberals a little bit of a boost. So I'm not sure where Mark Carney comes into this exactly, but in my opinion, he will be either the next Liberal leader or at least the next uh, Liberal finance uh, minister, because Christia Freeland, I mean, she's just out of her mind, and people are so sick of her. Mr. Speaker, like, oh my God, with her hand on her hip, like, she's just insufferable. So they got to get her out of there. Trudeau knows it. The Liberals knows it. I think Christia Freeland knows it, too. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I really appreciate and I enjoy reading and engaging with you guys. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps grow the channel. And I appreciate you guys very much. And I'll be back shortly with another video.